And if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Caroline, and I really appreciate you all stopping by to watch my videos. So today's video is a Costco haul. Uh, on Saturday, I put the tree up, but I didn't get to decorate it. I'll get to that this week. And uh, yesterday, Sunday, my husband was going out to meet up with someone, and I knew that he was uh, going close to a Costco, so I went with him so we could run in and get a few things. Uh, normally, we go every one to two months to Costco because it is uh, an hour's drive. Um, we either go to Kingston, Peterborough, or Oshawa, so they're, they're all a good distance away. But let's get into this haul, and I'll show you what I picked up. So there was a couple of good buys. Um, saw these uh, ladies Roots uh, cozy socks, kind of a cruise sock, shoes size four to ten. There's six pair in it. They were fifteen ninety nine with four dollars off. So eleven ninety nine for these, and they are super soft. They are made with ninety nine percent polyester, one percent spandex. So I did buy those for my mom to throw in her, uh, with her Christmas gift. And then I bought some men's. The men's are, were also six pair roots. Uh, shoes size 7 to 12. Men's crew sock. Uh, regular price was $13.99. So they were $9.99 each. I'm not quite sure why the ladies was more, but maybe because of what they were made of. These are... 50% polyester, 24% cotton, 21% nylon, 4% rubber, and 1% spandex. So I went ahead and bought four pairs of these. Right. One, two, three, four. For all the men in the family. Now they did have uh, gray as well, but I thought the black and gray would be good for them to wear to work. So that's for all the men in the family. I picked up these hoodies for myself. These were uh, Tough Athletics. I like the, the length in them. And the zip goes, you know, up, up your, covers your neck there. So I went with extra large. I don't like, um, I don't like my clothes too tight. And they got nice uh, deep pockets. And the hoodie in the back. And that little uh, emblem that they always have on their stuff. And these were $19.99 each. So I went with this nice, uh, it's kind of a black gray fleck through it. Went with that one. And I bought this pretty mauve color one as well. So it's the exact same sweater. They did have white. I'm trying to think if the other one was blue. I think it was. So again, extra large, $19.99. And I just like how long it is. And I think, yeah, the, the cuff has the the thumb hole in it. So, two new hoodies for myself. Uh, my husband wanted a pair of jeans and he normally wears the, uh, what's their name brand ones? Help me here, Kirkland. <laughs> he usually wears the Kirkland brand, but he also likes Levi's. And so I picked him up the Levi's. Uh, what do we got here? They're 505 regular. And uh, he wears a 36.30. He's short. He's a little Irish leprechaun. And uh, we went with the nice straight leg. And the price on those was $32.99. Now I did buy him a lot of clothing from Costco online for Christmas. So if you want to see my online purchases, I'm... We'll share that with you all too. I'll just tell him that he's not allowed to watch that one. All right. So we also picked up these. Um, he's already broken into the box and took one out. So these were um, wall outlet with rapid charging. So these are excellent because they do have surge protection in them. 
uh, up to 300 jolts. There's three USB ports, 4.2A maximum charging, six AC outlets, 15A, 12.5 volts. So it is a rapid charger, it's their now, I went and bought some of these on Amazon, and a two-pack was $35. These were on sale yesterday. I got my receipt here, and they were, pretty sure they were $19.99 with $5 off. Well, outlet, yep, $19.99 with $5 off. So for 15 bucks, there was two in the pack. Like I said, he's already ripped it open and taken one out. So that was a really good deal. What else do we have here? We needed toilet paper. They had the Charmin 30 jumbo rolls. So nice uh, soft tissue toilet paper. And they were on sale for so the Charmin toilet paper, regular $24.99, $5 off. So $19.99, so it actually worked out cheaper than buying the Kirkland one. And everybody was going crazy buying the Kirkland one, and I was like, uh, nobody looking at the prices here? Anyways, <laughs> so that was that. What else did we get? Some, I've already opened them up there. My husband's quite efficient on putting things away. We bought the uh, Caesar dog food. You get 36 in the pack, and they're $32.99, which really isn't that bad. So I just have one here to show you. But it's the variety pack. So they do get uh, filet mignon flavor, chicken and liver, turkey, which Max doesn't like turkey, and beef recipe. So that usually lasts my chihuahuas a month. So and purchase that for them. And uh, I always buy the Kirkland um, extra large absorbing, ooh, big heavy box. Extra large absorbent pads, the puppy pads, because we do have a senior dog, uh, Belle. She's going to be 15 in December. And she doesn't always hold herself through the night and, you know, she's old and we can't shout at her for it. So I always put down a puppy pad for her. I don't expect her to hold it all night. I also picked up some Kerrygold Dubl Dubliner Irish cheese. This is delicious. Really, really good cheese. Um, let's have a look here. Now, it's $8.99, which is really good value because... You can buy half the size of this at the grocery store and you'll pay $8.99. So this is a 400 gram and it is imported from Ireland, from my home country. So we always buy this when we're in. We needed some tea bags, so we went and got the uh, 300 count Tetley, 945 grams. So I always need tea bags in this house. Now the tea bags were $10.99 for that. I always pick up these buns, the nine grain, I don't know how to say this, Sabata buns are they called? And it's $5.49 for the whole big bag. I did have them in the freezer. So you, you just freeze them and as you need it, take it out. They thaw out quick and these are delicious too. So I always buy a big bag of those. There's lots in it. And we also bought um, the big package of gra lean ground beef. I've already separated it, but you can always see where I cut it. So I, I got four kind of like one pounders uh, put away in the freezer and the price on it was $20.92. So that was the only meat that we needed because when, last time we were there, we bought a big, uh, big thing of beef. It was like $110 and we slice it into steaks and, and a roast. And we also bought lots of pork chops the last time. So that was all we really needed. Our freezer is like full. I picked up the uh, seasoned rotisserie chicken for $7.99. Uh, we had that when we got home for dinner. 
And these are great to buy and throw in the freezer. If you have an air fryer, take it out, thaw it out, put it in the air fryer for a little bit, and delicious. All you gotta do is kind of reheat it, right? Uh, we did buy a big bag of spinach, which I forgot to take out of the fridge. It was, how much was our spinach? And it said on it, triple washed. I'll be back, I'm gonna go grab it. Okay, I'm back with the spinach. So it is Green Gate Fresh. And like I said before, it's triple washed. It is a product of the USA. Comes from California. And looking for the size of this bag. Anyway, it's huge. It's a big bag of spinach. I've already opened it, I made some sandwiches at lunch there and we had some spinach in them so did i say how much that was 3.99 just flip it up again and uh we picked up these white mushrooms 680 gram they're uh doesn't say where they're from so the where, the mushrooms were 5.49 but i mean that's a big container So, got those. Oh, and I was super, super, super excited when I saw these. Because I always see the Americans talking about them. And I've never seen them here in Canada. So, they had the hot chocolate bombs. So, what it is, is it's a chocolate bomb. Ball. Bomb. It's a chocolate ball with uh, mini marshmallows in it. And you warm up some milk and you throw it into your cup of warm milk. And it basically explodes. And you stir it up. So this is a nine, there's nine bombs in it, uh, made in Belgium. So I'm excited for these and there's three different flavors. Uh, so I'll just show you on the back there because of course I had to buy two of them. This is gonna be fun to make hot chocolate. <laughs> so delicious dark Belgium chocolate, uh, delicious milk Belgium chocolate, and delicious milk Belgium chocolate with salted caramel pieces. So it just shows you there on the side of the box, basically your, your warm milk, you throw it in. And the nice thing is these are all individually wrapped. So there's uh, three of each in the box. So there's nine in here. And these were a little bit pricey, but it's only a, you know, a seasonal thing. I believe they were $11.99 each. So $11.99 for nine bombs so I thought those would be fun at Christmas time so we have those to make hot chocolate with what else did we buy I needed some Dawn I always use Dawn dish soap and the platinum was on sale these are the large ones these are 828 mil and it was 1149 with 250 off so eleven forty nine less two fifty. So that was a good deal for that. And I always buy uh, Tide laundry soap. I'm a Tide user, and it's usually about twenty four ninety nine. But they had the gain on sale. Just try to find it here on my receipt as well. It's all kind of mixed up here. It's not in order at all. So the Gain Laundry Soap was $19.99, less $4. So basically uh, $15.99. So I grabbed the Gain. We'll see how she works. Uh, that's too heavy for me to hold. It's um, 146 loads, 5.91 liter. So I thought that was a really good deal. So we're gonna go again this time instead of uh, Tide. And then while we were in that section, they handed out some samples. So I'm not a fan of the Tide pods because I have had them um, not like disintegrate and kinda melt onto the laundry. I got one as a sample and they were giving out um, the Unstoppables, which I love. So I always buy these at Costco, but I did buy one like last time we went, so I didn't need another one this time. But yeah, they handed out some samples. So I believe that was everything in my order. Now, 
Would you like to know the total? So the total for all that came to 297.13. Our tax was 28.25. So our total was 328.38 for all that. Which isn't too bad considering how long a lot of this is gonna last us. So the other thing I like to buy in Costco too a lot is their garbage bags. When I buy those, they last us like a year. This laundry soap is going to last us uh, a long time as well. So I do like going into Costco. You do have to know your prices because sometimes it's not worth to me what they're asking for this stuff. But as long as you know your prices and when they do have their specials on, it's really, really good. And if you are a black card member, you do get money back at the end of the year. And then I usually just apply that back into my, uh, my new membership. So I do like shopping at Costco. And like I said, I did buy a lot of clothes online uh, for my husband for Christmas because he needs them. So I'll, I can share those with you as well. And I believe that was everything that we bought yesterday. Yes. So uh, back to my tooth story. So uh, my disease that I have is kind of breaking down the bones in my mouth. So my teeth are getting loose. So back in, when was it? Back at the end of April, they pulled a top molar. This guy down here was starting to get loose, but I wanted to hang on to it. Well, it's, uh, it needs pulled out. It's really loose. So I went this morning to have it pulled and uh, they did some x-rays and I actually have an infection in it now. So they've put me on amoxicillin for seven days and I got to go back next Tuesday and they're going to extract that tooth. So I was all like, I hate going to the dentist and I was all nervous and everything and now it's like, oh, I got to wait and they're going to pull that on next Tuesday. So I have to deal with a little bit of pain for another week, hope the antibiotics kick in and uh, we're able to get that done next week. I've had this um, thrift store haul sitting here for a week or more, so I'm going to sign off now and I'll come back with that haul so that I can post it another day this week. So thank you again for watching my video. If you are enjoying my content, I would really appreciate if you would subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell and YouTube will notify you when I post another video and all that will help my channel grow. Thanks very much. Take care everyone. Bye.